Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and recently I have gotten a lot more questions. I get questions all the time, so sometimes when I say recently I got a question, I just get the same question like three times in a row, and I'm like, oh my, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna do a video on it. Um, one of the recent questions I've gotten is on morning routine, what to do in the morning, how do I set my day up for success, because sometimes throughout the day I get off track or all these other things happen, and then you're like, oh shoot and if you're not solid in your morning routine it can feel like you're starting the day off downhill right so here's a few things to really focus on for the morning that are gonna set yourself up for success and I'll explain why they're easy to do uh, and you can prepare a lot of this ahead of time so you're not scrambling or if you're running out the door you can even do this in the car like you can consume these things that drive safely drive safely when you're consuming in the car, um, but really easy things to have on the go as well, just to make sure you're getting all these good things in your body to really help you make these big changes. So in the morning, one of the first things to get in your body, apple cider vinegar, lemon water. Um, and you can mix this all together, you know, starting with at least a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or up to a tablespoon, one to two ounces most. Um, great way to increase your natural digestive enzymes that get released, helps even out your blood sugars throughout the day, which means you're not gonna crash later. It also means that it's gonna help you um, not get cravings. It's gonna help move things along in your digestive system. So when I did that protein fart video, if you're like, mm, that totes me, mm -hmm, this will help with that. Um, and then lemon water is also very cleansing and refreshing. Hi, Jill. Um, but also just good, and it's good when you mix it in together, right? Um, one of the things, too, that you can do is prepare this ahead of time. You can have a big jar of it, and I'll do this, too. If I've got a crazy busy week, and I'm not certain that I will have time in the morning to get that in, I will mix a jar of it ahead of time and just keep it in my fridge and drink a little bit of it every morning. So prep this, prep this ahead of time, prep it, then done, right? You can have a little bit of that in the car on your way. And next important thing to have right away in the morning, fat bombs. Now, if you work out in the morning, you can do this before or after you work out. If you, can, if you like to work out on an empty stomach, great. If not, these are great to add in before your workout because it's going to keep you energized and it's going to make sure you don't get dizzy. I get dizzy if I work out on a totally empty stomach, um, especially if I'm lifting heavy. So something like a fat bomb or like a half a protein bar or some protein balls, something like that, great to add in in the morning early just before a workout. I add it to my totals for the day for protein or, or healthy fats, but I don't really count it as a full meal, right? Just a little something. So fat bombs are fantastic to have, um, and a lot of times I'll get these in um, on the go, right? You can, you can prep them ahead of time, keep them in your fridge or your freezer, and then put them in a little bag or just grab one on your way out the door, use them for a little treat. Um, but these, absolutely prep these ahead of time. I always have some of these prepped. Some of my favorites are like the chocolate mint ones. It really tastes like an Andes mint. Um, it's delicious. It's so, so good. Uh, so those are great. Prep those ahead of time. And um, then protein, getting your protein in the morning. So I make a coffee protein shake, which is so good. It's just coffee, warm coffee, warm. I'm going to write that down because it's that important. Warm, warm enough to melt the coconut oil in my fat bomb. If I throw a fat bomb in there, because sometimes I do that. Mm, so good. Um, if it's too hot, it explodes in the blender and just, pff, I've learned that. So there we go. Warm coffee to melt it, but not too hot. And then I will add, so then the, the fat bomb, right? Coffee, at least a cup of coffee. I use a really big blender bottle cause I like it. <laughs> um, fat bomb. So you're looking at like one tablespoon of say coconut oil, something like that. If you're making it um, on the fly. Jill, I do have a recipe for fat bombs. I will post that um, in the comments below the video. Yes. And then I will add in almond milk. Now you can use any type of milk, right? You can use coconut milk, um, you know, regular milk, whatever you want to use. Um, one of my new favorite milks is actually called Ripple. It's a pea protein milk. It sounds really weird, but it's so good. And I'll use chocolate almond milk too just because I like chocolatey coffee flavored things. And then I will do my chocolate protein. 
Now you can use a lot, you can use different flavors, right? If you have a pumpkin spice protein or a chocolate mint protein or vanilla protein, or you like cinnamon in your coffee or something like that, you can use vanilla and then add cinnamon in as well. There's a ton of different variations to this, but essentially get your protein in. And your protein in the morning will really help set your body up in terms of teaching your body that I've got a ton of fuel to burn, I'm gonna keep my blood sugars even, and we're gonna start this day off really revving our metabolism right in the beginning of the day. This is really important for women. I mean, gals, like you are on, right? From the second you wake up, right? It's not like you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna wake up and just sort of relax today. <laughs> right? You're like, okay, I am awake now, I have to get out of bed, and immediately the list of things that you have to do starts forming in your head. You're like, here we go, mm, right? So getting enough protein in is essential to make sure that you're getting the energy that you need and that your body's able to keep up with your busy day. How much protein should you get? Well, that can depend on what you need and what your goals are. So I am right now trying to add another three pounds of, two to three pounds of lean muscle. So I'm really pushing my protein every day. Um, and I'm 6'2", so I'm a big gal, right? About 185 pounds. So I'm really trying to get more protein. So I'm shooting for more protein. So my protein that I'm getting in the morning in that shake, I'm going for at least 40 to 45 grams of protein. That's my mark for my first number. If I'm going to try and get in 180 grams of protein in a day, whoo, that's a lot, right? So I'm looking for about 45 grams right at the start. That's going to do a lot of things for my energy. That's going to do a lot of things for my mental focus and clarity. Um, that's just going to do a ton for my metabolism. And again, making sure my body has the fuel it needs. You never know what you're going to encounter throughout the day, right? There can be days where you're like, this was great. And sometimes at the end of the day, you're like, what? What happened? What happened to my day? I don't even know, right? It's just the stress that happens or all these other things that happen throughout the day it just can kind of blindside you. But when you're set up for the day at the very beginning and you have all these nutrients in, holy cow, are you way more prepared and you're just set up for success. And that's the biggest thing that I love when women get this different result. All of a sudden they're like, I have so much more energy and this feels so much easier and it can be overwhelming or sometimes it can be a little frazzled to like all of a sudden add in a bunch of things in the morning, especially if you're on the go in the morning a lot. Um, but once you start getting some of these things in, again, if you don't like coffee, you don't have to do coffee. You can do tea or you can just have it be water too. Totally up to you. This is just my favorite thing to do in the morning. And again, tons of protein. You may need not, you may not need that much protein. You may only need 25 grams of protein, right? Whatever it is. But the secret number, especially for women, is 20 grams, a minimum of 20 grams. Why that minimum of 20 grams? Because it takes at least 20 grams of protein to build lean muscle. Yes. Um, and women have a harder time building muscle than men do, especially if you're under stress. Your muscle tissue just does not repair that way. Our bodies are designed to store fat. Very different than men. <laughs> so it's really important that we're treating our bodies differently, eating differently, and really adjusting what we're eating and when to set ourselves up for success all day long. I mean, not just, oh, on the scale, but hey, energy-wise, mental focus-wise, strength-wise, if we're going to the gym, you know, that type of a thing. So I do have um, a 28-day reset that I'm going to be, you know, releasing and going through, taking a group of women through a 28-day reset. This is, um, I'm not going to be posting a ton about it, but just to say that if you are looking for something more, if you're looking to deep dive and sort of really crank things around for about four weeks, this is going to be the thing for you. Um, and you can get more information by messaging me privately. Um, I'm not gonna be releasing a lot of this information again. This is really designed for a very specific group of women. Not everybody is gonna fit into this 28 day reset um, because of the stuff I'm gonna be releasing in there. But if you're interested, message me. Um, we're gonna be going through a lot of these things and I'll be examining kind of what you're doing already and then how to tweak it just to take it to the next level that much faster. So many women are out there doing all these healthy right things. Oh, I'm going to the gym. I'm eating clean. Why am I frustrated? Why, oh, why do I feel like I tank in the afternoon or I don't have this energy later on? Oftentimes, it's just something really little that we need to switch. Maybe you're really not getting enough healthy fat in the morning. That makes all the difference in the world. Really, it does. So it's just assessing and really targeting the things that you need to target.
So that's what this 28 day reset is for. So again, you guys can message me privately about that. Um, I can give you more info. I'm really excited for it. Um, but yeah, this is a great morning routine to go through. It's great for your digestive system, for your immune system, for your energy. Um, and you'll notice a big difference throughout the day with it. All right, that's what I got for you guys today. Let me know if you have questions and I will see you later. Ooh, also tomorrow I'm doing a video with my friend Jess. So stay tuned for that tomorrow because it's going to be amazing.